Hey guys, welcome back to Planetoid. So um, today I'm doing a quick video just talking about this little mini contraption right here um, called the Polaroid Zip. It's like a little mini like picture printer. So I use it for a lot of the pictures in my planner. So I felt like making a video about it and talking about it like a you know short review. I had it for a while, so yeah. Um, this came in a package last night at 8.35 p.m. Like, I've never had a package that come that late. I was just like, man, where is my package? Like, I was nervous because I really wanted to film yesterday during the day because most of the time whenever I order a package from Amazon, it always come like late afternoon time. So I'm just like, what's going on here? But hey, I got the package, I can't complain. So here it is, the Polaroid Zip and the paper that goes for the Polaroid Zip. It's the Polaroid Premium Zinc Paper. This right here is how the package look when you take it out. It just, I guess, show you how to put it in and everything, so yeah. Um, at Walmart, they sell a pack of 10 for like $10. So I decided to go to Amazon. It was $24 for a 50 pack. And it's just five of these little packs in here. So yeah. So with this little mini contraption right here, it actually prints pretty good. The only thing I have to say is to be careful about the lighting of your pictures. Even though on the app you can like fix the lighting and the effects and everything, which I will show you. But that's one thing, you know, I want you to keep in mind. In previous videos, where well, I always show those little tiny pictures on a square, it came from this thing. So, yep. I'm going to go ahead and open the paper and I'm going to put it in the printer. Because I want you guys to see how it works and how it prints just in case you want one to get for yourself. I think it's a good, you know, starter printer. But in the future, I do want to upgrade it. But I think it's a good, like, starter printer. Um, on Amazon, I saw that it was $79, but I don't remember how much I paid for this. I don't remember paying that much for this, but I don't know. So let's go ahead and put this paper in here. You simply just slide the top off. And that's how the inside look. And then you'll put the paper in face down. You know, put it back on, and snap it into place, and down here you got charger. It tastes like a standard old, like an old Android charger, not the newer ones that look like iPhone chargers, but the old one. And then um, it just show you the reset button if it start, you know, acting up. You could put a pin in it or something. I don't know if you could see that little tiny dot right. I might have to zoom in. Let me zoom in. Reset button, charge light, charger. Over here is the power button that you'll press to cut it on. And this light over here just shows that, you know, it came on. I see it cut on. Every time you first cut it on, we put in a new set of paper. It's going to print out this little color paper. I guess that's like for the ink or something. So, um... Yeah, I have to wait for this little thing to print out. While that's going on, I'm going to pull up my app. So the app is going to look like this. Uh, it might be different for like an Android. But the app is going to look like this, if you can see that. I color code my apps. So it's a black app with, like, it looks like the picture of the printer with the rainbow coming out of it. And it's called Polaroid Zip. And um, keep in mind, when you first get it, you'll have to connect it via Bluetooth to your phone. Because that's how it prints pictures, like, from your phone gallery. So. So what I'm going to do is, um, I already set the pictures that I want to print. A lot of it's pictures of my family members, so I don't want to show, like, all their faces. So I'm just going to um, choose a picture that I like. I set, like, different categories, like family members, 
me and my boyfriend and then pictures of things that I want to manifest or things that I like. And that's just going to go in my planner and a couple of selfies. So let's give this picture a try. I do want to uh, print seasonal pictures. So this one is like from Happy Planner. It's just pictures of leaves in the fall. I hope you guys can see that. And what's going to happen is you got edit photo. Like if you want to change the um, cropping and lighting and everything. Create collage if you want to do multiple photos. And then print preview. So when you press print preview, it's just going to show you the crop, how it's going to look. And then you just press, you know, next. Make sure you like it. You can uh, choose your number of copies right here. And then to put a timestamp on it. And you press print. It's preparing it. And then it's just going to simply print out. Every picture is not going to come out perfect. Um, but I learned that, you know, choosing pictures with better lighting and light color pictures always look better. So... Um, I don't think I really have any cons other than that as far as choosing the lighting. So, that's really it. Okay, there it is. Well, that's too cute. What I was gonna do is probably um, use it for like the different seasons, like within every, I think it's four months, the seasons are changing or whatever. So I wanted to do seasonal pictures to kind of fit that and make little dashboards with these pictures. But a lot of times I'll just print a lot of pictures and put them together in my planner just to store because I wanna carry with me the people I love and good memories. So this is how the back look. Just shows like the logo and that's the front and I think it looks really good so I'm gonna do a couple of more just so you can see um, let's do one with people so uh, like I said make sure you watch the lighting on these so let's try this one right here this one is a selfie so that's this picture. Y'all remember my blue hair? I, I need to get that wig put back on, but you know, due to this pandemic, my stylist who do my wig, she can't take clients right now. So hopefully I can get it put back on soon. Cause I did get a few compliments on the blue hair, but this is the picture. As you notice, like I said, I try to make sure I have good lighting. I just click on print preview. And it, the dotted lines, if you can hopefully see that, just shows like the crop, what it's printing. You press next. And I just press print. I, um, most of the time, I don't change the settings or anything, but you can. Um, I don't really know too much about them because I don't go into settings. So I can't tell you too much about it. Like, I don't know the entire app. I just go and print. But that's pretty much it. Like, I actually really like this little thing. Um, it gets the job done. And it makes most of the pictures look good. Depending on what you choose. So, I know for me, like, my skin color, depending on the lighting, sometimes it can come out kind of orange. Like how this picture did. Let me show you this one. It came out good to me. Because I'm not the pickiest person. But it came out just like my skin looked just a tiny bit orange. It's okay though because it kind of looked like this little filter on there. Actually on camera it looks really good. But when I'm looking at it, my skin looks a tad orange. Like the quality is not terrible at all. Actually, I want to bring it closer. So that's just how that looks. That's the back. So as you see, like it prints decent pictures. Um, I might have to just put the link in the description. I may or may not solely because I know different places have different prices. So actually, I'm not even sure. Like I wish I could remember what I paid for it. Cause I bought this bag like definitely 
had to be at least over a year. So I had this for a while, but I never used it as much because I've never had like enough paper. But this time I made sure to buy a good pack for some reason. I don't know why, just storing pictures in my planner just make it really cute. And then my planner is already small, so. But I mean, you guys get the idea. I'm not gonna sit here and print pictures the whole video because I mean, you get the idea. But I do wanna try one more that's of a different, I guess, like color. Like I have a black and white picture. So it's a picture of me and my friends here uh, before class. So print preview. Oh, now I want to load, <laughs> depending on the pictures and want to load. But you press print preview. Let me shot like the crop. Yeah. It got everybody face in it. So let's see how the black and white one print. I was trying to show different ones. Um, I'm not gonna waste my time because I don't wanna waste paper printing a lower quality picture unless it just happens to come out lower quality. I tried to choose pictures that's like decent quality so I don't waste paper. But once you, if you do get this printer, um, you'll have a better idea of what I'm talking about. Um, there are better printers out there, but you know, I'm no guru with this kind of stuff. So I just saw this one and thought, you know, okay, this would be good to have because I do want to have my own pictures and eventually get into, you know, scrapbooking and stuff. But if I do scrapbooking, I'm definitely going to try to buy um, a better one and a bigger one. So this is how this came out. So it's not too bad. So that's why I'm okay with this one because, you know, I'm not too picky about my pictures. It don't have to be perfect quality, but good enough that, you know, it shows all the features and the color is not like crazy off. So I like it. Yeah. And like I said, the only con is just certain pictures. It'll come out, you know, really dark if we choose a dark one. So you definitely have to be careful. But other than that, that's really it. So um, before I close out this video, I just want to show you this up close one more time, the pictures and the package so you have an idea what to get um just in case you do want to get it and look into it i just wanted to make this video just to i guess showcase it because it goes with my planner you know what i'm saying so why not but that's it you guys take a quick look at this make sure you like subscribe thank you all for watching and look at this short little montage